In this example, we're trying to graph the ellipse x plus 3 squared over 16 plus y minus 2 squared over 4 equals 1. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, we can start to find some important information about this ellipse. Uh, I know for the center, the center is at h, k, and the uh, formula for the ellipse is x minus h squared and y minus k squared. So the k is clearly 2, and the h would be negative 3, because you'd have to have x minus negative 3 to be the same as x plus 3. So that's the center, so we can go ahead and mark that down, negative 1, 2, 3, comma, 2, right here. And the 16, the 16 is a squared, and the 4 is your b squared. The a squared is always the larger number, and the b squared is always the smaller number. So in this case, a is 4 and b is 2. Now remember what a and b are representing. Um, a is representing the distance from the center on, along the major axis, and the b is representing the distance uh, to the co-vertices on the minor axis. And so since the x is going with the 16, it's going to be wider than it is tall. If the y went with the larger 16 instead of 4, it would be taller than it was wide. So since the a is 4, we're going to go right 1, 2, 3, 4 units. Uh, this will be at 1 if this is at negative 3. And then we'll go left 1, 2, 3, 4 units. And this will be, I guess, at negative 7 because that's 4 units to the left. Then we'll go for the covertices, since the b is 2, we'll go up 2 units and down 2 units. And the reason this works out so well is it gives you 4 reference points so on your ellipse. You simply connect the dots in an oval type fashion. And you're done. There, there's a graph of your ellipse for this equation. So now we have a little bit left to finish up here. All right, first of all, what were the vertices? Well, just because of the form of this ellipse, we know that it was wider than it was tall. So the vertices y coordinates are going to be the same as the center's y coordinates because they haven't changed. They're on the same horizontal axis there. So this is something comma 2 and something comma 2, just like the center was negative 3 comma 2. Now the vertices, it was 4 units to the right of negative 3 and 4 units to the left of negative 3. So negative 7 comma 2 and 1 comma 2, here and here. Now how about the covertices? The covertices went above and below negative 3, 2. So in this case, the x's will stay fixed, and 2 units above y equals 2 would be 4, and below y being 2 would make 0. So these would be your covertices. Now the only thing really unclear left is what about the foci? What, what about the foci? I, don't, I know where the foci are. The foci are uh, roughly somewhere around here and here, but we don't exactly know where they are. But remember, there was a formula for the foci. Um, for the foci, it was um, c units from the center uh, dictated by the equation c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So what's a and what's b? The a squared is 16, so that's 4 squared, minus b squared, which is 4, so 2 squared. Uh, if you would prefer... Since this is a squared and this is b squared, you can simply just do quickly 16 minus 4. So that would make c be uh, the square root of 12. That's 16 minus 4 with a square root. So now what, what are the foci? Well, let's see. You go from the center and you move the x coordinate to the left root 12 and then to the right root 12. So let's see here. The... Um, all right, so there's actually two, two foci. Let me get rid of this. I'm running out of space. I just remember C is root 12. Okay. All right, one foci, we'll start with this guy, would be, uh, let's see here, negative 3 minus root 12, comma 2, because it's got a y-coordinate of 2, and the other would be negative 3 plus root 12 comma 2. So basically I went left and right 
C units each time. So I found all the information for the ellipse and I graphed the ellipse. Um, and it was nice that it was already in this formula. If it wasn't already in that formula, you would have to put it in that formula before you could tell things like the center and the vertices and the A's and the B's and those sorts of things.